Good morning children. Today we will be dealing with the last topic of this lesson. The laws of exponents for real numbers. This is a continuation of the laws of exponents which you have learned in the previous classes. There if A is a non-negative integer and m and n are natural numbers the first law a raised to m into a raised to n is equal to a raised to m plus n a raised to m divided by a raised to l is equal to a raised to m minus n if m is greater than n. The third law a raised to m to the power of n is equal to a raised to mn. a raised to m into b raised to m is the same as a into b to the power of m and a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. A quick review on expressing numbers in the exponential form as well as radical form from my side. 2 square is equal to 4. 5 cubed is equal to 125. 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32. When you write 2 square is equal to 4, the meaning is 2 into 2 is equal to 4. 5 cubed is equal to 125 means as 5 into 5 into 5 is equal to 125. Similarly, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is equal to 32. Here, 2 square is equal to 4. The form of 2 square is called the exponential form where the base is 2 and the index or power or exponent is also 2. Similarly, 5 is the base, 3 is the power or index or exponent. The base is 2 and 5 is the power. How to express 2 square is equal to 4 or 5 cubed is equal to 125 or 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32 in the radical form is square root 4 is equal to 2. Even though the 2 is not mentioned here, the meaning of square root is the index is 2. The second one, cube root of 125 is equal to 5. Fifth root of 32 is equal to 2. Thus you can see the top here represents the exponential form and this represents the radical form. What do laws of exponents for real numbers indicate? It indicates that let A be any real number and P and Q be any rational number. Any rational number. The same laws of exponents will hold good or will be satisfied by the real number A with the rational values of P and Q as indices. The first law is A raised to P into A raised to Q is the same as A to the power of P plus Q. Second law, A raised to P divided by A raised to Q is the same as A raised to P minus Q. A raised to P to the power of Q is the same as A raised to PQ. Number four, A to the power of P 
by b to the power of p is the same as a by b to the power of p. Similarly, multiplication also a to the power of p into b to the power of p is the same as a into b to the power of p. The only difference is that the indices are rational numbers. The rule will be the same as you were doing for m and n as natural numbers too. A review on changing the negative exponent into a positive exponent. 2 to the power of minus 1. How do you convert? The negative power is the reciprocal of the base. The base is 2 here. Reciprocal of the base is 1 by 2 to the power of 1. Similarly, 5 by 6 to the power of minus 7 by 9 is the same as 6 by 5 to the power of 7 by 9. Thus, when you have a negative exponent, the reciprocal of the base with the positive exponent can be written. These are the worked out examples. I will work out with explanation. Later on, you can do the exercise on your own. Please check the answers from the video only after you work out. 2 to the power of 2 by 3 into 2 to the power of 1 by 3. The base is same. The rule can be applied as 2 to the power of 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3. 2 to the power of the denominator is same. 2 plus 1, 2 to the power of 3 by 3, 2 to the power of 1 or it is the same as 2. A raised to m to the power of n or A raised to p to the power of q is A raised to 1 by 5 into 4, 3 to the power of 4 by 5. Further, it cannot be simplified. 7 to the power of 1 by 5 divided by 7 to the power of 1 by 3. 7 to the power of 1 by 5 minus 1 by 3. The unlike denominators LCM is 15 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. 3 minus 5 which is the same as 7 to the power of minus 2 by 15. When the exponent there is a negative exponent, the reciprocal of the base to be taken or the final answer is 1 by 7 to the power of 2 by 15. The question is find or simplify. The method is 64 can be expressed as 8 square to the power of 1 by 2. The law as a to the power of 2 into 1 by 2 or the answer becomes 8. Similarly, express 32 as a base with the power 5. What is that base number? You can check the factorization. The factorization gives you the number as 2 to the power of 5 into 1 by 5 again 2 to the power of 5 into 1 by 5 the answer is 2. Similarly how to express 125 to the power 3 as 5 cubed to the power of 1 by 3 5 3 into 1 by 3 or the answer is becoming 5. X plus 9, 9 can be written as 3 square to the power of 3 by 2, 3 in, to the power of 2 into 3 by 2, 3 cubed which is equal to 27. 32 again with the power 2 to the power of 5 to the power of 2 by 5 which is the same as 2 to the power of 5 into 2 by 5. 2 square is 4.
16 to the power of 3 by 4. 2 to the power of 4, 3 by 4. 2 to the power of 4 into 3 by 4, 2 cubed is giving you 8. Here, the same 125 you can express it as 5 cubed to the power of minus 1 by 3, which is the same as 5 to the power of minus 1. A few revision questions for you from all the exercise for getting practice. Find A and B if 5 plus 2 root 3 by 7 plus 4 root 3 is equal to A plus B root 3. Find the value of A and B. When you see the left side, the denominator is not in the rationalized form. Let us rationalize it by the rule of multiplying and dividing by the conjugate. 5 plus 2 root 3 by 7 plus 4 root 3. The conjugate is 7 minus 4 root 3. 7 minus 4 root 3 by 7 minus 4 root 3. By distributive law, 5 into 7 minus 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 into 7 minus 4 root 3 by denominator is always a square minus b square. 7 square minus 4 root 3 the whole square. 5 7s are 35 minus 5 4s are 20 root 3 plus 7 2s are 14 root 3 minus 2 into 4 8 root 3 into root 3 3 8 3s are 24 divided by 7 square is 49 minus the calculation 4 square is 16 into Root 3 the whole square is 3 or it is 16 into 3, 48. Simplifying the like terms, 35 minus 24 is 11. Minus 20 root 3 plus 14 root 3 is minus 6 root 3 by 49 minus 48 is 1 or 11 minus 6 root 3. This is the result of the question after rationalization. By comparing with the values given in the question, 11 minus 6 root 3 is the same as A plus B root 3. By comparison, the value of A, you are getting it as 11 plus B is the same as minus 6 or the value of B is minus 6. This can be a possible prima question for the exam. Second pattern is questions like simplify. Each term you will have to rationalize the denominator and finally you will have to get an answer. Separately, 3 root 2 by root 3 plus root 6 root 3 minus root 6 by root 3 minus root 6 directly 3 root 2 into root 3 is root 6 3 root 6 minus 3 into 1 3 root 2 into root 6 is root 12 3 root 12 divided by root 3 the whole square minus root 6 the whole square which is the same as 3 root 6 minus 3 root 12 by 3 minus 6 is minus 3. By taking the common factor 3 into root 6 minus root 12 by minus 3 or it stands as minus 1. When you have a denominator minus 1 minus root 6 plus root 12, this is the answer for the first term. Similarly, 4 root 3 by root 6 plus root 2. 
is the same as multiply and divide by root 6 minus root 2 4 root 18 minus 4 root 6 by root 6 the whole square minus root 2 the whole square is equal to 4 root 18 minus 4 root 6 by 4 common factor as 4 root 18 minus root 6 by 4 or root 18 minus root 6. Root 12 and root 18 can be further simplified but depends on the question. Root 6 by root 2 plus root 3 into root 2 minus root 3 by root 2 minus root 3 is giving you root 12 minus root 18 by root 2 the whole square is 2 minus 3 root 12 minus root 18 by minus 1 when the denominator is negative 1 minus root 12 plus root 18. Finally you are simplifying the answers. The answer for this answer for the first term minus root 6 plus root 12 minus root 18 minus root 6 plus root 12 minus root 12 plus root 18 minus root 6 plus root 12 minus root 18 plus root 6 minus root 12 plus root 18 Positive root 12, negative root 12, minus root 6, positive root 6, minus root 18, positive root 18. The simplified answer is 0. Another pattern, if x is equal to 2 plus root 3, find x square plus 1 by x square. The value of x is 2 plus root 3. Directly you can find out the value of x square as 2 plus root 3 the whole square identity a plus b the whole square is the same as a square plus 2ab plus b square the same application here 2 square is 4 plus 2 into 2 4 into root 3 is 4 root 3 plus root 3 the whole square is 3 or 7 plus 4 root 3 you have to find out what is 1 by x square. The easy method is first find out what is 1 by x. 1 by x is the same as 1 by 2 plus root 3. Rationalizing it 2, 2 minus root 3. Next step, rationalizing 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3 by 2 minus root 3 which is the same as 2 minus root 3 by 2 square is 4 minus 3 or 2 minus root 3 by 1. It will be easy to find out 1 by x square as 2 minus root 3 the whole square 4 minus 4 root 3 plus 3 or it is 7 minus 4 root 3. You got the value of x square as 7 plus 4 root 3 and 1 by x square as 7 minus 4 root 3. x square plus 1 by x square will take the value 7 plus 4 root 3 plus 7 minus 4 root 3 which gives you 7 plus 7, 14. This is also a possible three mark question. These are a few revision questions which you can try on your own and the answers I have mentioned it here.